gonna hurt. Ah! I'll hit the middle finger. Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video. You already know who it is. It's your boy Leroy, man. And you know what is going on today, man. I've been pumping out these baseball contents, man, on my Instagram and on YouTube. I hope y'all enjoying this content, too. I think we got a bullpen session today. Got a lefty throwing on the mound or whatever. And then Josh gonna catch. So we gonna see what's, what they tell me. What they tell me, man. Baby, stay tuned. Eee. All right, y'all, so right now we finna hit up some um, defensive drills. We finna bring the machine out. I'm gonna feed the machine to Josh, and then he gonna feel me do what he gotta do. This is gonna be y'all first time seeing him catching like two years, bro, so. He say he, he valid, so he gonna, he gonna show y'all real quick, man. Hey, man, but I wanna say this quote real quick. Not a quote, but you feel me? I know it's hard to keep on pushing. I know it's hard to keep on striving for what you wanna do. Showing up to work every day. Um, maybe the semester is kicking your ass at school, but everything gonna be all right, man. I even find myself struggling to stay consistent. It's hard to stay consistent, bro. Like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Cause I'm trying to stay consistent enough to come play baseball every day, create content every day, come do this every day. But it's hard doing the things that you want to do sometimes. I ain't gonna lie, even if it is fun, you feel me? We gotta get this bread no matter what. Gotta keep it going, strive for what we wanna strive for. Cause if we give up, time gonna fly by regardless, you feel me? Time is, time is what we make it, you feel me? So we gotta take advantage of it every single day and every single second that we can. Let's do it though, let's continue to, more of the video though. Enough of me running and talking and shit. Even though y'all like hearing me talk, but. Short hops, man, short hops. Uh, yeah, just like skip them. What I do is I have the mini glove to start and then that helps me like finding pockets and stuff right away. And then because this is super light, I got both of these at the same time, but this is heavy as hell. So it would took really long to break in. So at first I was only using this one. Um, yeah, I remember you having that one. Yeah, I was only using this one at first. And then when I would go to my regular gloves, which is heavier, it would feel, feel almost like slow. I'd feel pretty slow. Right. So then I was like, I gotta go from this to the heavy glove. Mm -hmm. And then once I finish with the heavy glove, now this will feel light again. Sure. If that makes sense. I'm already knowing. But what I do, it's my routine. Machine, catch an arm or whatever. Like if I had a bullpen, so I had a bullpen two days ago and I was struggling on a certain pitch, like trying to get into that spot and getting around it. If it was an inside pitch, 
I would have some, like whoever's flipping to me be on an angle to my right side, throwing it to this side. So I'm like actually working on getting around that and like bringing it back. And then like today, like I would have my machine spinning all on the inside. That, if I had like a bullpen two days ago that I was struggling on that pitch. But if not, I mean, it's pretty basic. Like it'll, I'll just do what I did to warm up and then stay on the plate and I'll move a little, a little bit left or right just to keep everything kind of sharp. I don't necessarily worry about where the plate is. So like my visual of like when I first get down here of where I want to set up. So like, for example, I may start around middle and I'll like whatever, work it, work it. And then I'll like scoot over a little bit. And now in my eyes, the plate moved with me, even though I didn't move the right, plate. Right, right. So like now I'm working here and I'm trying to work it back like towards this way. Okay. Cause like, I'll use this to be like the middle of the plate now instead of the corner, oh. but I won't like actually move it. Sometimes I will actually move it if mm -hmm. I really want that visual, right. but a lot of times you can just do it mentally if you're focused enough, yeah. if that makes sense. I'm already new. All right, y'all, so I'm finna hit some short hops real quick. I don't know how this finna go, but wish me luck, man. You feel me? I haven't seen short hops in years. I haven't caught in years, but we gonna see. Hey, uh, Tyler's gonna be here soon, so I gotta, well, not right now, but we can do this first, but. We just got, it can't be too long because I got to get ready to throw. Because he said he's going to be ready to throw right away, which I was not expecting. Yeah, it's probably not, it's probably not going to take too long. Right, yeah. Yeah. I said the dealership of Mayor Pinkster. She made sure she keep her nails dead and her wig fits. That look way smooth. I'm already knowing. Bro, I was struggling, y'all. I can't cap. That one ball, it hurt my shit so bad, bro. <laughs> but we good now. We good. That middle thing was cruised, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You pressure, man. I ain't gonna hold you. You be throwing some spit balls. I'm just it was only like 65, bro, but it's different when it's short hops. It skips. It skipped right into a glove and shit like that. I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of nervous at first time. Oh, damn. Hey, you gotta get it how you get it, you feel me? In order to be good, you gotta do what you're uncomfortable with sometimes. You feel me? That's just how I go. We finna get some live pins in. I'm not hitting at all, you feel me? We watching the bullpen session or whatever. I'm gonna record it, you feel me?
Trying to reach 87 heat. I think he got 87, man. 